Right, so Richard, why are you spraying um, your watch and what are you spraying your watch with? This is a, like a chalk developer, yeah. which basically what it does is it mats the, the surface so it allows the laser scanner to... And this it. is, so this is a Faro arm, what does this do? Uh, this which comes from the medical industry. It did until you yeah, broke it. We <laughs> um, use reconstructive surgery. What we use it for is to, with the laser attachment or the touch point, is to measure what we've manufactured uh, against the original CAD drawing to make sure that they are one and the same. So you said it's used in the um, reconstructive surgery? It's used for dental work and stuff, isn't it? it is, um, yeah, big in the dentist industry. Wow, big in dentistry and also F1. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's mad. So, again, here sits the watch. So, we're going to scan that in. And, and what are we going to get then when, when, when you scan it in with this? Uh, what's the, what, why, why do you use it in F1 essentially? To, well, we, it can be used for reverse engineering. So, for example, if you manufacture something mm -hmm. or you, you made it to, you custom manufacture a one off, you can then use this to, to scan that one off. And put it back in, put it into a, uh, make it into a solid, and then a CAD file, mm -hmm. and then put it into production. Yeah. In terms of you, you can use it to measure the manufactured item against the known design in the CAD file. Okay. And so here we are onto uh, some uh, fairly uh, special-looking Dell equipment. So this is the uh, posh computer program that is going to give you the. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Yes. Yeah, so right. Should. Uh, so how many kind of laser points a second or whatever, is that, is, that, is that a term, laser points? It is laser points, it is basically just the mapping of a load of points basically, but how many a second, it's into the thousands, I don't know to be honest with you. It's quite impressive. Figure, but okay. it's, it's a lot. So. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about the, about the watch, is that going to clean off properly? Yeah, <laughs> So here we are. Lasers. For some reason, Google's open. No, it's green, that's in its focal point. That's yeah, so when you've got the green light, you've got the focal point, so okay. you know you're at the right height from the path, basically, okay. at that stage. Right, and then here we go. Screen. Onto the screen. And that gives you. So, an exact. So that is basically the exact uh, dimensions yeah. of that watch because you've just scanned it in from yeah. the actual watch. So you could then send that off to a designer. They could get the dimensions and make a copy of Richard's watch. <laughs> to, uh, if we're not going to do to that. Go. I'd just like to repeat, we're not going to do that. What, what, so how, what is the use for this in F1? Well, so for example, if you had a CAD file, so you're overlaying the scanned item onto the CAD, if mm -hmm. it goes green, it's in within tolerance. Yeah. And if it goes red, up plus or minus, that means it's out of tolerance. Yeah. So for example, like these form blocks, which we machine out of epoxy, which we then use to make the moulds, they then come into here, they can scan them in, and then we can make sure that what we've manufactured and what we've designed are one and the same. It's a very quick way of taking a lot of points on a big part like that, so that we can check it quickly without having to check individual hard probe points. We can just sweep over it and it's as quick as we've just seen there, basically. Well, so what how many points of measurement have you got there? Uh, Probably. What would you have used before in F1, before you had this machine? These CMM machines behind you would be used. They are more accurate, they're just one micron on these? Yes. And this is to about five, isn't it? It's about, yeah, 0.05 but basically. These, as you can see, what effect this that those do is you have to have the probe comes down, touches the surface, and then goes off and touches it again, and touches it oh, again. Oh, okay, right. Like, whereas this does millions of points of measurement within, within the time it takes you to see it then. Yeah, so, um, I, yeah, as for how many points that is, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's more than 10, yeah, but it'll keep probably be... Charles Pick's seat is 12.1 million points of measurement. So that's, so that's equivalent to one of the machines touching it 12.1 million times. Wow. Yeah.